Hi, hello and welcome to the channel Scratch Coding for Kids. This is the first tutorial. So this is for the on be, uh, basic introduction to the Scratch Coding. This is Vida from Toronto going to help you on learning Scratch Coding. Okay, let's go to the agenda today, what we are going to learn. So today we are going to learn few topics. The first of all, the first question is what is Scratch? Scratch is a high level programming language uh, you can use to instruct the computer uh, where you can animate, make stories and uh, create games. This is specifically for kids but any age group can use this one. So basically Scratch is to imagine, program and share. So first of all, you have to imagine your project, what you want to do. So you can imagine a story or you can imagine an animation and then program it and you can share it. There is the Scratch community and there is a studio where you can upload your projects and others can view your project. At the same time, you can view others projects as well. Okay, next thing, we will see a small video on the scratch overview so what we can do in scratch how to do it's a very high level quick small video okay let's go to that video introduce the scratch screen and some blocks they move to the coding area and they showed how to code it how to move the sprite this this guy is the sprite and also they showed the community of scratch like where you can upload your video and you can watch others video and go inside their uh, project and to see the code and all those stuff so this is a high level uh, overview of the scratch now we will go further before going further what are the benefits of learning the scratch so there are a few benefits yeah of course first you are learning a programming language you are learning to code and you are going to write programming other than that what else you can learn by learning this scratch or working with scratch problem solving skills project management designing and collaboration here, the specially, so first you have to imagine, think and design and you have to manage your project and specially there's a collaboration because you have a, a Scratch community where the studio is there, you can upload your project and you can comment on others, you can give stars, you can like it and like a social media, you can collaborate on that space. The next thing we are going to uh, look onto is pre-request for Scratch. So for the pre-request for Scratch is one, in the hardware side, you had to have a computer or a smart device and also you had to have internet connection. Regarding skills, uh, this Scratch is more suitable for the age group 8 years to 16 years. 
uh, others also can do it but it's more suitable for this age group so basically you have to know something about x some mathematical skills like x axis y axis how the sprite moves on those axes and also uh, some mathematic operators like greater than less than so it's better to start from eight years seven to eight years because three four year children doesn't have that much knowledge so uh, that's why it's more suitable for the age group of 8 to 16. And right now the latest version is 3.0. So recently it's released in 2019, the 3.0 is released. Earlier we had 2.0. So that is the most late, latest version of the Scratch. Now we'll see, okay, now you know what is Scratch and some high level idea of Scratch, what are the benefits and all those stuff. Now the second question, how we can access the Scratch? So if you want to use the scratch, you have to access the scratch, right? So there are two ways. One is offline, other one is online. For an example, offline means you don't need continuous internet. You just download, install it, and then you can use it. So to download the scratch, you have to go to this website. Please note these, these URLs I will give in the description area of the YouTube. When you are watching this YouTube, Below the YouTube, you will see a description area. In the description area, you will see these links available. You can click and go. So let me go to this one. So here, when you go to that website, you will see this page. When you scroll down, you will see there's an option direct download. So you can download from here by clicking on this. It will get download. You see, in your left bottom corner, it's downloading. Okay. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, now it's got downloaded. Now you can install it. So go show in folder. So it's available here in my downloaded folder. So it will go to the download folder. So in downloads, you can see that one, the setup um, thing. And before double click, I had to do one thing because I already installed the scratch. So I have to uninstall that first. So let me go to my control panel. Let's see, do I have any scratch over there? Okay. Let's see, do I have scratch? No, I don't have any scratch. Uh, no, I have scratch. So I had to uninstall first. Let me uninstall it. Okay. uninstall successfully now. Now what I can do is I can go and install it. So let me go to the show in folder. So it's in the download folder. Now I'm going to double click just whatever downloaded. You have to just double click two times left button. So when you download it will ask. So I'll give everyone. Anyone can use this and install. It's asking the permission so once i gave the permission it started to install so it's installing it might take few seconds you don't need to wait too much time yes it's almost done click on finish it's done now it's loading the scratch screen this is offline where we downloaded and installed in our own machine so you can use only in this machine um, it, this is not a web-based one so this is the screen you will get and you can enjoy you can do it okay so this is a offline scratch where we download and install, right? What is the next one? Next one I told you it's a web-based online. For that one, you have to go to this website. Okay, so you it's a web-based application. So you can go there and you will see uh, this page, but actually, I logged in already, but let me log out. So when I sign out, actually very first time, you will see this screen. Okay. So in this screen, before starting to write coding code, you have to you have two options. One, if you already have your own credentials, that means you already created an account in the scratch, you can go to sign in and give your username, password and sign in. But if, if you are new to scratch, you don't have any account. You have to go to join scratch. Here there's an option called join scratch. Click on that. 
you have to give your username. You can create any username, but most of the usernames are already taken by someone. So try different combinations to make a unique username. So for an example, I will say G H I test one two three. Okay, and I'll give the password A B C D. And I will give the sorry. I'll give the matching password. What is that? A B C D E F. A B C D E F. Okay, and I can give next. Here it's going to ask few questions like where do you live? I live in Canada, so I'm going to give Canada. But you can give whatever country you are living. Then it will ask few questions like. When did you born? That you can give anything. It's not necessary to give the right age. Just give some randomly. Then you can select female, male, and the email address. And then finally, once you give the email address, you can create your account. So once you create the account, you have to remember the username and password you gave. Okay, that is very important. The first, very first screen we gave a username and password that you had to remember. And after you create, because I don't create an account because I already created, I don't want to create an account. So I stop here and I'm going to scratch back. So now I'm going to sign in. Here you have to give your username and password which you gave in the first screen when you are creating the account. Now you can sign in. Now I sign in. Once sign in, there are so many options available. We will see one by one each. But the very first thing you have to know is create. If you go to this option create, you will go to the scratch screen, exactly what you saw in the offline scratch where we downloaded and installed. Okay, so here you can play around with your blocks. So scratch is basically a block based one. You can build up, it's like building blocks at home in small ages, you play with the building blocks, right? So you take blocks and build together and make different shapes, something like that. Here also you can take the blocks to the coding area and you can build together and make to do some. So this, when you are building it, it should have some sequence and also it should have some meaningful instruction. You can't just give whatever you want. So that's why you had to first design your project, first plan your project and design your project and then you can do it. See, so I asked to rotate. So when I click every time, it's rotating, okay? So that's fine about. So now we know how to access the scratch in both ways, offline as well as online. Okay, next. Okay, that the three main areas. So when you go to the scratch screen, you will see majorly three areas. So this area is called block palettes, where all the blocks are available, which is in the left side, left, left hand side, and the center, you will see the coding area where you will write your code. This right hand side, you will see a staging area, where you will see the results. When you write a code, how it will function, you will see it here in the stage. It's like a, a stage where you uh, deliver some shows or dramas or something like that, okay? So this is the basic idea of the scratch screen. How, what are the areas and how, how it looks like, okay? Now we are going to the another one. So I already told you the Scratch improve your collaboration skill and there is a Scratch Studio where you can see others project. So let's see to the Scratch Studio. So if you go to the Scratch Studio, there are several projects available for you to see. So to get some idea or to know how it works, like you can, so for an example, I'll click on the Stone Age. So click on it. So it's loading the project. No, oh, it's taken. Okay, then this is the green flag is the start button. If you click on it, here you can click to start or stop. If you click on it, it will start to play. Okay, so then you can start. Now, um, if you want to see the code, how did they develop this program? You can go to see inside. Can you see? There's a blue color button, see inside. Click on this. Then you will see all the coding, what they have written to develop this uh, Scratch project. Then, other than that, what else you can do? 
you can not only you are seeing others project when you are seeing the project for an example if i select this one you can give comments like for an example you want to give star rating for this one you like it so click on star you really like it so click on like and also you can give comments like for an example you did a good job and you can post the comment it's something like social media how you communicate right and you click on post this comment will be posted to them okay so this is how you can collaborate in the uh, scratch studio and last thing we are going to check is the scratch card so because i am going to give you a homework so what you have to do is you have to design your own scratch project so to that to get some idea the scratch is having some detail there's a web page where you can you you will you can have some idea what you will create okay so either you can <clears throat> have you can go to the activity guides there are some activity guides if you click on it it will show step by step how you can do those things do those projects okay so for an example um if i click on this one try the tutorial it will tell you what to do if you click on this play button it will tell you you can use scratch to animate a name and bring it to life make the letters change color spin grow or interact however you'd like to get started we'll pick a background okay. so that's how you can learn that one so uh, you can go to the um, guide and you can learn different things also there are cards if you go down the uh, coding cards so this will give you some idea to design your code right uh, with the scratch code cards you can learn to create interactive games stories music animation and more so if i download this one you will see this card so for an example you 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 decided to have a project called animator name so you are going to animate your name so what you have to do you have to take a card or you have to take a notebook and you can write so first thing like you have to color the letters you have to spin the letters you can play sound so everything you have to give it over there okay that's how you can plan it and do it so for that you have to go to that web page and you will do that one now so this is the last chapter i already done it now i will give you a homework during the time think about one project and what you can do is uh, design the project manage the project design the project and try, get ready to write the code so do this take your take your notebook and imagine something and write what you want to do it step by step what you want to do it okay so this is your homework so this is all for the first tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it um and if you like it please subscribe um see you bye bye till till i see you in the next video thank you very much